guys so today we are going to share with you guys our top 15 random favorites of 2015 we hope we got everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was hard to think of everything yeah let's just get this going yeah <laughs> these aren't in any particular order this is just what i thought of at the top of my head but i guess my first favorite would have to be one tree hill i'm actually wearing a one tree hill sweater has chad michael murray aka lucas scott's face on it I started the show in june and I was so addicted, I watched four seasons in like one week. And I'm currently on the ninth season. I had to stop because of school, but I'm absolutely mm -hmm. obsessed with that show. Brooke Davis is everything. I think you guys should watch it. It's a really good show. The first show I have is Scandal. Mm. Ugh, it is so good, guys. It is. I started watching it a couple months ago. I finished the four seasons that are <clears> on Netflix in a couple weeks. I haven't started the fifth season that's like airing now but I definitely have to because I need to find out what happens with Liv and Fitz and Liv oh. and Jake. Oh, another favorite show of mine has been How to Get Away with Murder. It's also a Shonda mm -hmm. Rhimes show. <laughs> it's pretty similar to Scandal in the sense yeah. that it's about law. Oh my gosh, I seriously watched the first season on Netflix in a day. Like I was so addicted. <laughs> I love all the characters and I love how it's about college students so we can kind of relate mm -hmm. to that honestly if you thought any show could get crazier that show is the craziest oh, like it's so finish. crazy once one thing happens and you think it's over like something else will happen and then it totally sets everything back and it's just so I'm good gonna... oh, a lot of hot okay. characters too connor is oh, they and oh my god frank i love them all <laughs> i'm going to have to finish yeah. it yeah and i have to watch scandal yeah so another show i have is one of my favorite shows the show was so good it was how i met your mother Oh my gosh, it was so funny. I honestly think I finished it in like a month. And it's what, like <laughs> long, nine yeah, seasons? Long seasons? It was just so good, so funny. And I fell in love with every character, mm -hmm. especially Marshall. I love Marshmallow <laughs> and Lily Pad. They're so cute. <laughs> well, like this year, I got into anime and I never thought I would ever get into it. Like, my brother and sister are obsessed, and I would just think they were the weirdest people, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> They introduced me to a show called Sword Art Online, aka SAO, and I like am addicted. And I watched season one twice, and I'm halfway through season two right now, and it's just such a good show. I only like watching the English dubs. Honestly, they're so good. Like, I didn't think I would ever like an anime mm -hmm. show, but that one is really good. And I love Kirito and Asuna mm -hmm. together, they're everything, and I even have like stickers on my laptop. <laughs> so, the show is Friends. I think I started it like right when it came on Netflix, which I'm pretty sure was January 1st. It was so good. I didn't think I would like that show as much as I did, but it was just so funny. All of the characters I also fell in love with, yeah. especially Rachel. I feel like Rachel's like my spirit animal. I feel like everybody is obsessed with that yeah. show. I really need to start watching it too. My next favorite is also an anime and I literally just started watching this during thanksgiving break but it's so good that i had to include it in my yearly favorites and it's called clan ed i think i'm pronouncing that right and clan ed after story which is the second season and i have never cried so much <laughs> in a show not, not like i cried more than i cried during Grey's anatomy it was that bad every time i rewatch the scenes where all the sad stuff happens i cried even harder and like it's the only show that has ever made my brother cry and my sister and so when they told me to watch it I was like it can't be that sad right but it really is the saddest thing like ever I love the characters and it's just such a good story the storyline is really clever I think so I loved it my last show is Grey's Anatomy I started that this year too I just heard from Kelly and Becca that it was amazing mm -hmm. so I introduced I, it to Devin and yeah. Becca and then Jazzy is so good i i feel like that was the show that i wouldn't stop watching yeah and it was during school and during the <coughs> finals so that was bad but it was so worth it because yeah. it was great it's just it's probably in my top three favorite shows of all time it's so good but i wish i could like forget everything and so i can watch it, it again. yeah i think my all-time favorite artist of the year has been kaylani i yeah. discovered her like probably in march and then i told Devin about her, Jazzy, and everybody is now obsessed with her. I love her mixtape, You Should Be Here. It's so yeah. good. Honestly, she's like bringing R&B back. Yeah. is good on that mixtape. She's just so good and so talented. Her voice is amazing. Mm -hmm. I guess my next artist that I've been loving is Young Thug. 
I just never really appreciated his music until recently and I just can't stop. I can't get enough. <laughs> I'll see like on our YouTube thing recommendations and it says it's just young a bunch thug. Of music. Like, <laughs> I can't help it. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. So of course I had to include my bae, Justin Bieber's <laughs> new album, Purpose. I seriously love all the songs. My favorites would have to be like No Pressure, no Love pressure. Yourself. Oh, no Pressure is so <laughs> sexy. <laughs> Sorry, Trust. Like, honestly, it's just such a great album. Everybody is much. hopping on the Bieber bandwagon yeah, now. Yeah, like, so. oh, Justin Bieber's new album is actually good. Like, bitch, he was always good to begin with. My next two artists one is Drake. I mean, for sure. He's just mm -hmm. been like, I feel like I never really started liking him until this past year, though. I don't know why, I was just never too like into his music, but recently I've been like obsessed. He's so hot now. Ooh. He's <laughs> Jazzy show him. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Yes. And then the next one is Eric Bellinger. I never really even knew mm -hmm. who he was before this year, but then this summer, like Devin started listening to him a lot, so I started listening to him yeah. a lot. He just has a really nice voice. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's really underrated. Yeah, definitely. No one really listens to him as much as they should. Mm -hmm. So I forgot one more show, but this past year I finished the show The Fosters. I actually think it's still going on right now, but that show is so good. I never really thought I would get into a show like that, but I love the whole family concept about foster parenting and stuff like that. And I think they touch upon a lot of important issues like gay marriage. I think it's a really good show and I'm really sad that Jake T. Austin's not in it anymore. I don't want to spoil anything, but something happens at the end of season two. Something happens to his character. The first food item, it's a beverage, but whatever. It's oh, Coke Zero. Same. It's just so, so good. Jazzy <laughs> so introduced good. me to it. Just because I like soda a lot, I want to drink it every day, but <laughs> I don't want all of the, the unnecessary bad, yeah. calories. Yeah. You don't need to tell me that Coke Zero and Diet Coke is still bad for you. I know that, but mm. I'm not gaining any weight from it. I've been <laughs> losing weight, actually. Oh, so, yes. I think it's a nice alternative. Mm -hmm. um, another food favorite of mine has been Chick-fil-A. <sighs> like, I've loved Chick-fil-A for years, but I didn't start eating it, like, a lot until yeah. this year, and I love, like, the chicken the nuggets, nuggets and the waffle fries with honey mustard sauce, sauce and the lemonade is so good too. Oh Probably my, my favorite fast food restaurant now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the next food item I had, it's kind of weird. They're Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I just never thought that I would like, I like them. It. They're pretty good. I don't like, know why everybody hates them. Same. I've had them a few times, but the few times I've had them, I just think they weren't made the right way. Yeah. I found a recipe for online and the way I've been making them. <sighs> They're so good. So another food favorite of mine is a restaurant in Berkeley. I don't know if it exists anywhere else, but it's called Toss, and it's basically like a Chipotle style restaurant, but with noodles. So you pick like the oh size noodle gosh. you want, the sauce, and then the meat. So freaking good. So good. Whenever Jazzy comes to visit, she I has have, to go to yeah. Toss, and just, it's just such a good restaurant. They have bomb Thai tea. Bomb Thai tea. I guess my next food favorite is another beverage. It's just tea. I've been drinking a lot of tea. Yeah, the Yogi skin ones, detox yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. Those were really nice. And then I started getting into like just kind of other flavors. English breakfast oh, tea. Oh, I heard that's really good. It was just so good. My last food favorite is cream. I don't know if a lot of people in Southern California know what it is, but it's a very popular in Northern California. They basically serve ice cream sandwiches and they're so good. I love their cup of joe ice cream with a snickerdoodle mm, cookies. Yum. That so good. so good. Yeah. My last food favorite isn't <clears throat> an actual food, I guess. It's just cooking in general. I don't live in the dorms anymore. I live in like a house kind of thing. I have to make my own food, so I've just been cooking a lot. It's really fun. I want to start cooking. When I get too lazy to do <laughs> anything, I'll still make pizza rolls. It's fun like finding recipes and mm -hmm. making them and seeing how they turn out. An app that we've been loving this past year is BuzzFeed. It's yes. just such a fun, interesting app. Yeah. I love taking the quizzes. I, I love looking at the, the like, food. Yeah, the food, the new articles about yeah. like what's trending. I could spend a lot of time. Yeah, we it. like tag each other in like quizzes to take, yeah. <laughs> like especially if they're about our favorite shows or celebrities oh, yeah, or something like that. that. And then the next app or game we've been loving is Home Design <laughs> Story. <laughs> It is so fun. I don't know. It's great. You yeah. like basically just design your own home 
you like expand your property so mm -hmm. you can build more rooms. The only thing that sucks is that we've reached a point where you just can't expand anymore. Yeah. You can't even see very well. But she's in the process of remodeling. Yeah, I'm re since I can't like <coughs> expand anymore or make any more rooms, I'm just trying to like reorganize everything. I have now gotten to the point where I just like buy things so just to move on to, to the level next up. Level. Yeah, so yeah. I can get new furniture and stuff. <laughs> Same. But it's really fun. Another two apps that I've been loving, I kind of put them together because they both relate to music, but I love Spotify and SoundCloud. I do have a Spotify college account, which is only $5 mm -hmm. a month, and then SoundCloud is free. I love going to SoundCloud for like remixes and stuff like that. Spotify is just good for <laughs> really cheap music, yeah. so I don't have to buy them off iTunes or anything like that. I love them both. My last favorite, it's kind of random, but I've been doing puzzles. Really just whenever I have free time, I like to listen to music and do puzzles, mm -hmm. and it's really fun. I like doing the thousand piece puzzles, because it takes me kind of a while to do. <laughs> yeah. My last favorite is actually concerts. And now that I have a job, I can afford to go to concerts, which is really nice. I just went to a Miley concert a couple of days ago and that was so amazing. It was honestly one of the best experiences of my life. She was really good live. I don't know, there's something about like being there with that artist and like hearing them perform live that's really cool. And I'm actually going to see Kailani tomorrow and then Bryson Tiller in January, and then hopefully Justin Bieber in March. So <laughs> I've just been going to a bunch of concerts lately and they're super fun. Well, that is it for our top 15 random favorites of 2015. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave your random favorites down below. We'd love to look at them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at JKBD8 and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.